How did you get involved with investing in grilled cheese? Well, we've known Jonathan Kaplan for years. Right, the founder uh, of Flip Video Camera, which sold to Cisco, and then Cisco just let it go. And uh, Jonathan's been thinking, talking about grilled cheeses furtively and quietly for uh, a number years. of years. So it didn't come as a big surprise. And it's a really good idea. Why would you invest in grilled cheese? I'm here on Sand Hill Road, which is known for its technology companies. We have Google, Yahoo, Apple, Oracle, all on the walls up here. But grilled cheese it just seems out of character. It does, but if we did everything in character, life would be very boring. And what we're most interested in is investing in companies that are very small and very young today and can be large tomorrow, and the melt fits that category. How so? America doesn't have a friendly, warm, comforting place to go for grilled cheese sandwiches. Grilled cheeses are an American staple, and people over the next decade will come to love the melt. You know, you do have some small mom and pop shops in different cities uh, across the country that offer grilled cheese, specialized grilled cheese sandwiches. Uh, right. There were lots of mom and pop shops that offered cups of coffee before Starbucks right. came along. And they still do. And they still do. Is this the only restaurant chain you're involved in? We're involved in uh, several in China and India. And what's the ROI as compared to a regular technology company? Why is it worth your while to get involved in food? Restaurant companies, if they're done sensibly and they're done right, and uh, they're at the right price point and appeal to the right demographic, uh, can be wonderful companies. They can be around for an extremely long time. Look at the household names that we know in the uh, restaurant business, in particular the fast food business. Mm -hmm. But many restaurant companies have been around for a lot longer mm -hmm. than many technology companies. Is this a trend that we're going to see more of in terms of Sequoia? Are you going to look at more food operations here in the U.S.? In this highly... Um, crowded market of fast food. Long ago, 25 years ago, when we became um, investors in Cisco Systems, everybody thought that the networking market segment was very crowded and that there wasn't room for right. a, a new entry. Or 12, 13 years ago, everybody thought that search on the internet was done, and that was before Google. So I think if you have a new idea in a market that's large, uh, there's ample room to grow. So what sold you on the idea? What sells you? I mean, if someone comes in here and says, you know, I have this new idea, it's a very crowded space. I mean, I get tons of press releases, and mm -hmm. they always say to me, oh, well, it's just this much different than this other company. I'm thinking, well, why? When that company can actually, you know, add that little extra into their, you know, product offering as well, just like with the Melt. Well, couldn't McDonald's add a really nice gourmet grilled cheese sandwich to their We try line. to keep it very easy and uh, focus on whether or not um, consumers are going to love um, the product, in this mm -hmm. case, the grilled cheese sandwich. But mm -hmm. there are lots of virtues associated with the fact that you're one young company concentrating on doing just one thing very, very well. Mm -hmm. And you don't have a large existing business to have to worry about. At what point do they say, OK, well, we've done very well with this one product. We've sold grilled cheese. We've done great with search. At what point do they expand to other offerings? Or can they? What is your advice to those companies? I think if you have a really wonderful idea in a large market, you don't have to do a lot else for a very long time. And so at the Melt, for example, we can just be doing grilled cheese for the next 20 years.